Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of the bill of sale and why you need to be using it really for every phone that you go out there and buy. So with that said, let's get into today's video. So before I get into it, obviously if you're new to the family, hit that little subscription button down below. And if you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you are interested in getting that bill of sale, just leave a comment down below that I'm interested in it, or it'll be the first link in the description. Um, it comes in the phone flipping starter pack. You get the bill of sale, also 15 plus pictures to use for your ads, as well as this 30 minute consulting call that I've seen a lot of success um, with when, in terms of the people that I've talked to already. So with that said, the first point and why you must be using the bill of sale is that it's going to protect you from insurance claims and if you're new to the industry what that basically means is or what people are actually gonna go out there and do and it's really annoying it's very scammy but it's also in like insurance claims so there is a legal side of it and what they'll go out there and do is they'll go sell you the phone probably for very cheap um, it's kind of obvious in a sense I've been in this industry long enough to sense when somebody's gonna do that but um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna go if this is obviously if there isn't a bill of sale they're gonna go sell you the phone take $300 cash from you whatever it may be go tell the insurance company that they their phone was lost or stolen then that phone will get blacklisted like through the IMEI which means it can't be used in the carrier um, and with any carrier in the US anymore and then they're gonna pocket that cash um, subtract like a hundred bucks for the deductible get a new phone so they're getting a brand new like refurbished phone plus whatever difference it is how much money you gave them so most of the times with like two three hundred bucks they're just pocketing and then you're stuck with a bad IMEI phone so with that said especially if you guys are going reselling on eBay um, at this point in time by the time you figure out that it's blacklisted it'll be three four days and you've probably already shipped the phone out so it's really annoying and it's gonna devalue the phone a lot but if you have the bill of sale it'll definitely protect you from this having the bill of shit the bill of sale um, basically in like protects you in the sense that they cannot go out there and file the phone as lost or stolen um, it basically is like a contract that says um, this one party is legally selling um, to the other party this phone for this amount of money with this um, IMEI on it so it basically protects them and when you guys are meeting with people I've had people that have done um, like insurance claims on my phones even though I've got a bill of sale so one thing that I um, now have started to do is every time I meet with somebody I always say literally that this legally show tells me and you that you cannot go out there and file an insurance claim this will scare them and if they're scared of it one they're probably gonna get really sweaty and stuff like that and they're probably and they're gonna um, have to take the phone because they're bad in situations or they're gonna say um, I don't really feel comfortable they're gonna make an make up an excuse why they can't provide an ID or anything like that and if you guys want to avoid this definitely in the conversation before um, when you're actually negotiating with the buyer on offer up let go Craigslist whatever it may be or rather the seller um, just let them know that are they okay with showing you their ID because with the bill of sale I always have the ID as well which shows their address and everything so that's a great way to keep them uh, accountable and with signing the bill of sale 99% um, of the time if they say yes there there should be no problem in person but again just continuously mention that they cannot file that insurance claim it'll protect you I can guarantee it the second great reason why you should be getting a bill of sale is it's great for tax purposes um, and just keeping up to date on your phone inventory for me um, I didn't used to use bill of sale in the beginning and I obviously wasn't filing taxes because it was just a side thing I wasn't making a significant amount of money but as you guys know I filed my LLC so now every phone that I buy and sell I have to pretty much describe the phone how much I bought it for how much I sold and how much profit I made because taxes are being like taken off of that so uh, one it helps me from those insurance claims but two it's great for tax purposes and just keeping accountable um, for all your inventory that you have so the third point and a great reason why you guys should be getting the bill of sale it'll basically ensure you um, with having a safe buying experience of that phone so having that bill of sale if somebody agrees to sign that bill of sale provide their information like their ID because they're not dumb they recognize that has their address on there but if we're able to let them know that we're just using this for tax purposes it's just to protect us from things like insurance claims and stuff like that I, I say it out loud I don't really care so 
with if somebody's able to agree to that they're most likely going to be able to meet at a carrier store the phone is most likely a good phone they know what they're selling they know what they're doing doing and four you're just going to have a great phone and you're going to make a profit on it and never look back at it again so that's another great reason why i like the bill of sale i know many of the bigger guys in this industry don't necessarily always use the bill of sale um, which i think is dumb because this is a cash driven business and especially if they're doing it full time um, you really kind of like i mean it's, it's kind of just a no-brainer. I mean, you should always protect yourself legally in that sense. Um, they just kind of, you just kind of take the risk with that. You don't necessarily need the bill of sale, but for me, I hate to lose money. I hate to get scammed, knowing that somebody else is just using my money just for taking by taking advantage of me. So with that said, um, I definitely just love the bill of sale. It protects me. I didn't use it in the beginning, but every time I preach it so much in all these videos. Um, that you really should be getting it every single phone. But one exception I'll let you guys know is if I end up buying like a bad IMEI phone, I will not get the bill of sale. The bill of sale obviously protects us from a phone going bad IMEI. So if it's already bad IMEI, you technically don't need the bill of sale. Um, it's just something that I talk to. I talk to a lot of people about it in like my phone calls through that consulting calls in the phone flipping starter pack. Um, it's a lot of things, something that people don't recognize, but I mean, that's why we're getting that bill of sale solely for the purpose um, or mainly one of the main purposes is not to get that phone blacklisted so if it's already blacklisted there's no really point of getting that bill of sale because we're just going to go sell it on ebay for part or not working um, and then we don't really have to look back on it so i hope you find you guys found value in the video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up i'd appreciate the support and again if you're not in the family hit that little subscription button down below we're only like 40 away from 500 which is a huge milestone for the channel um, I think we're probably one of the fastest growing like, phone flipping channels in the industry, so I'm really excited. I'm building a great community. And if you want to extend your knowledge of the phone flipping industry, the second link down below is the phone flipping Facebook group. Um, you just have to click join, it's free to join, and then pretty much people post every single day, including myself, tips on phone, fl phone flipping like in, in general, any questions they may have. Um, I met a lot of good friends through there, so if you're interested in becoming my friend, hit that little, sink, little second link down below, I'd appreciate it. With that said, uh, have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.